Shalom to the elect of Israel, to the whole elect of Israel, you Hebrew Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, West Indians, and Haitians. Got to give all praises on and glory to Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shah, the Most High, the Heavenly Father, his Hebrew name is Yahweh, not Yahweh, not Jehovah, not God, not Elohim, not Most High, not Loa, not Yah, not Jah, not Ahaya, not Allah, it's Yahweh. And his only begotten son name in the Hebrew is Yahweh Shah. Not Yahshua, not Yeshua, not Jesus Christos, not Jesus Christ, not Serapis Christos, not Yeshaya, not Yehoshua. It's Yahweh Shah. So God give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rekha Quraish. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who are well, who teach well. To all the apostles and elders of all of Israel, whether you can accept it or not. In a sense, your salutation to all the oxen pushing this truth and believing this truth throughout the full ends of the earth, the entire world, working up the hope for the elect. And shalom on to the Akwath who are listening and learning, the few sisters who are listening and learning. I'm Isaiah for coming at you with another lesson in truth, facts, faith, and edification, another daily edification, the Lord's willing. It's be edifying. This is for educational purposes only. This is not for monetary gain. I do not own a copyright to these videos. This is for educational purposes only, the Lord's willing. It's be edifying. Now, as I as I was preparing this lesson, I thought about these two precepts. I'm going to read them first. This is Isaiah 63 and verse 17. And it reads, O Yahweh, why hast thou made us to err from thy ways and harden of our heart from thy fear? Return for thy servant's sake the tribes of that inheritance. Again, Isaiah 63 and 17, O Yahweh, why has thou made us to err from thy ways? So, as the Heavenly Father made us to err from his ways, so he makes us to understand his wisdom knowledge and understand it. This is Isaiah 28 and 9. Whom shall he teach knowledge? And whom shall he make? To understand doctrine. Them that are weaned from the milk. And drawn from the breast. So. The Lord can give you this wisdom not to understand it. And if you already have it. He can take it from you. Or. He don't have to give it to you at all. When you do not have the wisdom not to understand it. Of Yahweh Hashem Shah, This is what happened. Lord witness be edifying. Moving right now at noon, a homicide investigation underway in Miami Gardens. We know at least one person was killed this morning. Let's go now to Local 10 News reporter Syra Onwar. She's live at that scene with the developing details. What can you tell us, Syra? So, Janice and Christy, this all happened early this morning on Northwest 154th Street. If you look down the street here, you can still see the car. This is where that shooting happened. And we're now learning a little more about the victim, a man uh. named Rashad Walker in his mid-20s. Loved ones say 25-year-old Rashad Walker was a kind man, full of energy. Walker was killed in what police are calling an early morning domestic homicide while in his car on Northwest 154th Street in Miami Gardens. Sky 10 showing the scene as police taped off the area. Before police could notify next of kin, Walker's family members who live nearby recognized his car, covered by a yellow tarp surrounded by investigators. While police released only that they were investigating the domestic homicide, family members say Walker's girlfriend shot him, then climbed out of the car and called police. They say police have the woman in custody. Several people coming out to the scene throughout the morning, grieving family members and concerned neighbors, saying this block is known for being friendly, and they never expected this. And we actually just had to move out of the way because the Miami-Dade County medical examiner just came through likely to remove the body of Rashad Walker from that vehicle that, again, is just down the street. They're putting the police tape back up to prevent uh, any vehicular traffic from coming through this area. Right now, we're waiting to find out more information on that woman who may be in custody, who may be responsible for this shooting. Now, you see that? Now, that's a clip of a female shooting her boyfriend. Now, check this out. Now, this is a clip. It's safe from June. It's safe from um 2018. 
But this is from June 14th, 2021. Now, this is a guy that killed his girlfriend and his daughter. Check this out. jurors received of Ronnie O'Neill, the Riverview man charged in a gruesome rampage that killed his girlfriend, his young daughter, and nearly killed his eight-year-old son. O'Neill, representing himself, shouted at the jury during his opening statement. And the evidence is going to show that law enforcement but the state says evidence is indisputable that the only person responsible for the violent attack on his family is Ronnie O'Neill. And it starts with a 911 call from Kenyatta Barron, O'Neill's girlfriend. She made that call with fear in her voice. Kenyatta can be heard pleading for her life. Prosecutors say by then she'd already been shot. And while the recording continued, they say O'Neill can be heard beating her with a shotgun. The evidence will show that that was just the beginning. That's just the beginning of what happened this evening. Investigators say after killing Kenyatta, O'Neill brutally murdered his nine-year-old daughter, Ronivia, and tried to stab to death his eight-year-old son, also named Ronnie, before setting him and the house on fire. And it's just the beginning of what became an odyssey, an odyssey for this little boy. An odyssey of violence, an odyssey of brutality. The little boy, however, survived the attack, barely. The words that came out of this little boy's mouth were not a cry for help. They were not a help me or a painful cry. They will tell you the first words that came out of this little brave boy's mouth my daddy killed my mom. The evidence is going to show my son did not see me murder his mom. The evidence is going to show he did not see me shoot his mom. It one of the one of the curses in Deuteronomy 28 that the Lord will smite us with madness, man. Jake bugged out. Ronnie O'Neill has indicated that he plans to argue that he acted in self-defense. Meanwhile, his son, Ronnie IV, uh, is expected to testify in this case. Right now, wow. he's 11 years old at this point. This happened three years ago. And uh, he is going to testify in the coming days. Chris? So his son got to testify against the father. And he said it was self-defense against his girlfriend? Come on, Jake. Now, the first video I showed you, it was a female that killed her boyfriend. This video is from a man that killed his girlfriend. Show you how show you how cold the Lord is, man. Now this is a video of a of a girlfriend and a boyfriend both get killed together. Check this out. Right now the details are still developing as police try to figure out what happened to a man and woman just before they were shot to death. I'm Jason Martinez. I'm Shana Humphreys. Tonight investigators do have a clue. Seanette Wilson reports. That is crazy. The bodies of a man and a woman found dead in a car has neighbors in disbelief, and police believe they were there overnight, not discovered until this afternoon. Misha Bryant and Devin Pearson say they hear gunshots often around here, but not this time. I walked this way like five, ten times a day, and I didn't pay that car no mind, you know what I mean? It's just a shame. Sky Fox over the scene on the 2700 block of West Huntington Street in North Philly, where police say the woman and man, both believed to be between 25 and 30 years old, were both shot once in the head. They believe inside the car. Police were alerted to the car around 1.15 this afternoon. To wake up and know that somebody is dead in the car, uh, less than 700 feet from me, it's a shame for the city. Salima Hawthorne has lived here for 27 years. She runs a daycare and Salima's playground alongside her house for neighborhood kids. We hear anything beyond firecrackers, we know how to stop, drop, and roll. Hawthorne says shootings aren't uncommon here. She showed me a bullet hole on the front of her house. She doesn't know when or how it got there. Not safe at all. The car was parked in front of the old Rudolph Walton School and across the street from a church. 
Hawthorne hurts for the families of the victims. I feel sorry for the parents of those children that died because they was on the bus. And then you get to see life. And tonight, police tell us they are still investigating a motive. Meanwhile, sources tell Fox 29 that police do have surveillance video, which they say shows three people running from that car. Meanwhile, as of right now in the city, Philadelphia has surpassed all of the murders it saw in the year 2013. Jason. Hey, now you see, what is this? Judgment, man. This is the law of judgment, man. Every day. This is... Zephaniah, chapter 3 and 5, he reads, The just Yahweh is in the midst thereof. He will not do iniquity every morning. Do if he bring his judgment to light, he fell of not, but the unjust knoweth no shame. This is Psalms. That's why we constantly preach, repent. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. The Lord is judging every day, man. He said he would no more. He would no more sit back and do nothing. This is Psalms 145 and verse 20. It reads, the Lord preserveth all them that love him. The Lord preserveth all them that love him. But all the wicked will he destroy. Plain, man. All the wicked will he destroy. Two thirds of Jake gotta be, they gotta, they gotta get moved out the way, man. This is Jeremiah chapter 9 and 21. It reads, For death is come up into our windows and is entered into our palaces to cut off the children from without and the young men from the streets. And that's what's going on, man. Judgment. Judgment all day, every day. But the Lord says this. Only thing left for two thirds of Israel is judgment, man. This is Jeremiah 5 and verse 3. And it reads, O Yahweh, are not thy eyes upon the truth? Thou hast stricken them, but they have not grieved. Thou hast consumed them, but they have refused to receive correction. They have made their faces harder than a rock. They have refused to return. Therefore, I said, surely these are poor. They are foolish, for they know not the way of the Lord, nor the judgment of their power. And what's the judgment of Yahweh Shema Washah? Death, man. Grievous deaths, man. This is um, Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 12. And it reads, For thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, Thy bruises, thy bruise is incurable, and thy wound is grievous. There is none to plead thy cause, that thou mayest be bound up. Thou hast no healing medicines. It say, There is none to plead thy cause, that mayest, that thou mayest be bound up. Thou hast no healing medicine. This is, um, let's read verse 14. All thy lovers have forgotten thee. They seek thee not, for I have wounded thee with the wound of an enemy, with the chastisement of a cruel one, for the multitude of thy iniquity, because thy sins were increased. So, these ways that Jake is following are ways of the heathen, man. So, here we is. With Israelite on Israelite crime, man. Why? Because Jake followed the ways of the heathen. Which the heathen set traps for you to do these things. But it all comes from Yahweh Shema Shah. And he said, there is no medicine. There is no healing ointment for two-thirds of Israel. This is uh, Jeremiah 29 and 17. And it reads, Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh hosts. Behold, I will send upon them the sword, the famine, and the pestilence, and will make them like vile figs that cannot be eaten. They are so evil. 
And what's going on? The Lord is turning two thirds of Israel to vile figs, man. And it just, it, it just this is a small, just a small portion of what's really about to come, man. Thus said the Lord Yahweh host, Jeremiah 29 and 17. Behold, I will send upon them the sword, which is the sword is the modern day weapons, the famine, and, pe and the pestilence, and will make them like vile figs that cannot be eaten. They are so evil. Hey, when food was spoiled, or get mold on the meal, whatever mold, it can't be eaten, man. Got to be thrown out, man. This is um Hosea chapter five and verse fourteen. It reads, "For I will be unto Ephraim as a lion, and as a young lion to the house of Judah. I, even I, will tear and go away." I will take away and none shall rescue him. This is going on, man. The Lord is putting these jakes to death, man. Why? First Samuel 2 and 3. Talk no more so exceedingly proudly. Let not arrogancy come out of your mouth. For the Lord, Yahweh, is a power of knowledge, and by him actions are weighed. It's the Lord that bring the actions of death in different types of judgment. This is Psalms 68 and 20. It reads, He that is our power is the power of salvation. And unto power the Lord Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah, belong the issues from death. You see, it's the Lord that bring judgment, man. This is Amos 3 and 6. It reads, Shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in the city, and the Lord Yahweh have not done it? So if it's evil in your city, it's the Lord that, that, that is bringing it, man. Isaiah 45 and 7. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord Yahweh, do all these things. You see that? It's Yahweh Shema Shai that bring judgment, man. And he's only showing mercy to them that love him. Let's get this. This is um. <clears throat> this is Exodus twenty. Exodus twenty and verse five. It reads, "For I, the Lord." Yahweh, thy power, and a jealous power, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generations of them that hate me, and showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. So, the Lord is looking for them that love him and seeking him early. And if you're not seeking Yahweh Shema Vashah early, you will lose your life, man. Thus saith the Bible. Let's close with this. This is uh, Deuteronomy 32 and 39. And it reads, See now that I, even I am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. Out of my hand. You see? It's your how about Shema was shy, man. That's sending a hit. By sending who? Evil angels, man. By sending angels, man. The Lord Williams edifying. Gotta give all praise and glory to Yahweh. Baha Shem, Yahweh Shah, Baha Shem, Kurash. The bonus to the apostles and elders of great millstone, Ruel, who teach well, who are the apostles and elders of all of Israel, whether they can accept it or not. And a sincere salutation to all the Akim, pushing this truth and believing this truth. But the four winds of the earth, the entire world, waking up the whole for the leg. And shalom to the Akwa who are listening and learning, the few sisters who are listening and learning. Let me close with this. Lamentations 3 and verse. 
21. This I recall to my mind. Therefore have I hope. It is of the lowest mercy that we are not consumed. Because his compassions fail not, they are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, say of my soul. Therefore will I hope in him. The Lord is good unto them that wait for him, to the soul that seeketh him. It is good that a man should both hope and quietly wait for the salvation of the Lord. The Lord giving us. Let's read this. This is Lamentations 3 and verse 40. Let us search and try our ways and turn again to the Lord. Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shah. Amen. Lord, what is edifying? Hey, the wife for tuning in. May you help us your mouth shot continue blessing your houses. Stay prayed up. Hey, repent. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Pray to you about your mouth shot. That he do not take your holy that he do not take his Holy Spirit away from you. And pray that the Lord strengthen you to endure to the end. Until next time, I say shalom. Wa a bar ba ball.